Compared to the complicated life cycles of parasites that live inside their hosts, the parasites that remain on the surface seem to have it much simpler. Many are members of the animal kingdom, such as insects and arachnids. Some of them stay on their human host at all times. Others, such as mosquitoes or bedbugs, climb on for a meal and then leave. When these blood-sucking parasites bite, they secrete substances to begin digesting the blood and to keep it from clotting. These substances can be toxic. Our bodies react by developing bumps on the skin and itching. Like mosquitoes, fleas are a clear example of a parasite that hits its host with a one-two punch when it bites. It not only drinks blood, but also passes along any viruses or bacteria it may be carrying. Most of the great plagues of history were transmitted by fleas and lice. The head louse is one parasite for which humans are the sole host. It's also one that is common among children. This tiny bloodsucker needs several meals a day. Its bites cause itching, and the constant scratching may lead to additional infections. Lice cling onto their hosts, holding on with the hooks on their feet. They glue their eggs to hairs on the scalp, as well as into the seams of clothing. Special anti-lice shampoos and similar products help to control and get rid of these parasites. Tiny arachnids called dust mites live in our home environments. Although they do not feed on humans, their waste products are in the air we breathe and cause allergies for many people. 